All right, in this video is going to be part two of section 3.11, dealing with uh, related rates. Uh, I left off one of the problems in the original video here, which is example number 13. I'll go ahead and go cover that with you in this video. It says here an angler hooks a trout and reels in his line at five inches per second. Assume that the tip of the fishing rod is 12 feet above the water and directly above the angler. So here is that distance 12 feet. And the fish is pulled horizontally directly toward the angler. So here's the fish right here as it's coming in toward the angler is being pulled in towards that angler. So here I wanna find the horizontal speed of the fish when it is 22 feet away from the angler. All right. So actually, we're finding dx dt. Okay. And our x is going to be 22. As you can see here, when it's 22 feet from the angler, it's coming in. We want to find that horizontal speed when it's coming in. All right. And this height. A 12 feet, that is a fixed number right there. This will not change at all, okay? Now, this is in the form of a right triangle based on this figure. So what we're gonna do here is use the Pythagorean theorem here. And of course that Pythagorean theorem is, is of course a square plus B square is equal to C square. And in this case, we're gonna do this in X and Z. So this distance right here from the top, from the fish all the way up to the top of that, uh, the tip of the fishing rod, that's gonna be our Z. And I might as well put Z up here. All right, so let's substitute here. The A is going to be whatever X is. So it'll be X squared plus B is going to be that 12 feet, which is actually 12 squared. And that's equal to C, which is going to be the Z. That's going to be squared. Simplify this, this will be X squared plus 12 squared, which is 12 times 12. That'll be 144, and it's equal to z squared. So the equation relating x and c is just going to be this x squared plus 144 equaling to z squared. And then we're going to differentiate both sides of this equation with respect to time. So the derivative of x squared with, this, with respect to time is 2x plus the derivative of 144, the der derivative of a constant is automatically going to be zero, equaling to the der derivative of z squared will be 2z. And that means, and I forgot something. If I'm going to take the derivative with respect to time, I need to include, for 2x, I need to include dx dt plus this is still gonna be zero for the derivative of 144, but for 2z, which is the derivative of z squared, I must include dz dt. I cannot forget that. So that means 2x dx dt will be equal to, that way this zero, that's gonna to equal to 2z times dz dt. So I'll just fill this in, 2x d, dx dt equaling to 2z dz dt. Now, when the fish is 22 feet away from the angler, this is what x is, x is 22. And we already know what y is, we need to know what z is. 
using that Pythagorean relationship of the fact that x squared plus y squared is equal to c squared. I hear that x is 22 feet. And actually, that y squared, in fact, is this height right here. That's the 12 squared. That's 144. So I'm going to use this right here. x squared plus 144 is equal to z squared. That way I can find out what z is. And I know x is 22 feet. So that's 22 and that's squared plus 144 is equal to z squared. And then 22 squared will be 484 plus 144 is equal to z squared. 22 squared is 22 times 22. That's 484. Add 144 to the 484, you'll get 628. And that's equal to z squared. And to find z, I'll leave this as the square root of 628. So z, that's the distance from the fish to the tip of that fishing rod is going to be 628. Square root of 628. And that is in inches, by the way. Now let's look at what we already know. We're told that uh, the angler hooks a trout and reels in his line at five inches per second. Okay. That's going to be this right here. DZ DT, as indicated here. So DZ DT is five inches per second. And we're going to use this equation with respect to time. That's 2x dx dt equaling to 2z times dz dt. And that is a z, by the way. I apologize for not making those z's look like z's. dz dt. Now let's do some substituting here since we know what x is. And that x was uh, 22. And we know what z is. That's the square root of 628. So let's substitute two times x, which is 22, times uh, dx dt. dx dt in this case is what we're trying to find. because we're finding, of course, the horizontal speed. Horizontal speed is in terms of x, so that's dx dt is what we're looking for. And that's equal to two times z, which was uh, the square root of 628, times dz dt was five inches per second. All right, so now to simplify this, two times 22 will be 44 times dx dt. That's equal to two, um, I mean, two times five. If I multiply the two times five, that will be 10 times the square root of 628. So four, four, 44 dx dt is equal to 10 square roots of 628. Now to get dx dt by itself, you'll divide both sides by 44. So dx dt will be equal to, and in the calculator, I'm gonna do this. I'm gonna put the 10 square roots of 628 in parentheses, so left parentheses 10, second x squared for the square root, 628. Use your right arrow key to get out of the uh, radical, close the parentheses, divide that by 44. And to two decimal places, this will end up being 5.70.
5.70. And of course, this is going to be in inches per second, by the way, because our x value is in inches, or the distance is in inches, and then our time is in seconds. So to answer the question, when the fish is 22 feet from the angler, the horizontal speed is about 5.70, rounded to two decimal places, and it's going to be in inches per second. Not just say inches per S, inches per second. Okay. All right, so if that homework problem similar to this shows up, this should be able to assist you with that problem as well. Again, reach out to me if you have any questions or if you need additional help.